Hi everyone and Rendog, uh, Troy Trust up here, and um, I'm from Denmark. Um, and um, I was just sitting here playing uh, Minecraft uh, on a very relaxing Saturday, uh, on a nice weekend. Um, but it was also a little bit boring, um, so I watched uh, the newest, uh, the newest Rendog episode uh, of Minecraft Survival. That is, and uh, as usually, I was. I was absolutely amazed by your incredible talking skills and also your ability to craft at the same time while you talk. That was, I, I, I actually admire you for that because that is that is an ability that I don't know if it's rare, but uh, let me just I'm I'm having a very hard time to do it myself. So let me just let me just say that I'm really a big fan of you and I've watched every single episode, of course, and uh, this is why I've uh, simply decided. Um, after watching episode 80 um, and after you came you told us that you need help with uh, with that cyberdog monument uh, symmetry fail I decided to to try to come up with something um, and I think it's I think it's sweet um, of course it might not be at all what you're looking for but uh, this is just my suggestion um, and also I'm a little bit nervous so forgive me this is my first time where I'm actually showing anyone a video uh, of a suggestion that I'm doing so I'm actually not used to talking while I'm playing so this is my first video um, but I hope you will enjoy what I have um, what I have uh, as a suggestion here. Uh, and first, what we, what I'm gonna do is maybe we can just pop into survival real fast. Can you know just to just to show you just, just so I can punish these things. Um, but yeah, first I want to show I built a replica of the of the Cyberdog Road of no Cyberdog Roads. Sorry, I'm I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just rambling. Um, no, I've built off the Mole City roads, uh, as you see here, three blocks wide. And behind this thing that I'm going to show you in right a second, I've built a replica of the staircase going into the Cyberdrock uh, Monument. And uh, as you can see, there you have six stairs here in the middle. And these are not aligned with this road. If you can see, there's one, two, three in there, and there is, there is, uh, the the two here are basically like that. So you see, it's it's not a line symmetry. Actually, the middle of the Cyberdock uh, Monument staircase is there, and uh, and that is basically starting here. So it's it's not aligned with the road, and that was the problem that you addressed in episode 80. Um, however, I think I have come up with a sweet um, fix for that symmetry fail. Uh, as you see here, I'm in, in creative mode and I've built this a little toll house here, as you see, with a little sweet ass fountain over here. And this uh, fountain is actually inspired by uh, the fountain at Mama Dog's greenhouse. Um, as you see here, I have a little waterfall going on here where, on uh, some walls, uh, cobblestone walls. And uh, down here I have um, some mossy cobblestone. Um, just because that is uh, your favorite texture for, uh, for, for that thing. So I thought that was looking kind of good for the, for the bottom of the fountain. So that was pretty good. Um, oh, now I need to get out of here. Alright. Uh, there. Let's just uh, fix that so that will look okay again. Um, so yeah, this is the fountain. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe you can fix that. I don't know. This needs to be still, um, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and then I planted a little garden uh, thingy here, so that also is looking all right, I think. And uh, yeah, now to the main part. Also, there's garden over here, of course. Uh, but now to the main part. Uh, which I think is pretty sweet. I figured that some uh, a texture that you haven't used yet is actually these sweet uh, bricks that you made make out of clay, and uh, I think that was looking pretty good. I actually was inspired to build this by a picture I found just on Google, uh, which was some na national museum, and then I thought it looked kind of good with this acacia roof up here. Um, made of acacia wood planks. 
Uh, I don't know if you have those trees um, right near of the mole hole, but um, maybe that's worth to actually also uh, go a little further away from the mole hole to find those trees and plant them at the mole hole. Because they're, they're 1.6 updates, I think. Um, but yeah. And um, also, the good thing about this hut is that this hut is 1, 2, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is 8 blocks wide. And the good thing about that is that you have like this little cabin here which is usually a little uh, larger if, if you see like you know, like normal music uh, m museum tolls then the cabin is usually a little a little wider than the actual entrance where people go in and this is like here um, and the the advantage of this is that the road that is three blocks actually if you see this is actually perfectly diagonally diagonally <laughs> diagonally lined with the the ticket stand so that you can actually walk like here and then you buy your tickets and I'm gonna go into this a little later and then here it is a path by two which is also I think a very very good size for for the entrance here and here you have uh, oops oops now <laughs> darn it Maybe I should just, uh, yeah, take my pole out there. And here you have, so you can go through here, like uh, these, and you can actually go through, uh, these are trap doors. I'm sorry I'm blanking out here, but I've, I've, I've really not done this before. I'm really not used to playing while I talk, so forgive me for that. But yeah, you, you, can, you can just open there, and you can actually go through, which is also really cool, I think. You can't go through if they're locked. So you have to like ask the ask the person in their permission to open this. Uh, let's just in in our imagination, of course, there's someone in there, and he has to open this um, with a button in there, which I'm going to show you in a second. Of course, buy tickets here and Cyberdog Monument stands there on the signs. And now the coolest part I think about this is that uh, originally, originally I had like a block of brickage there but I thought like hmm we could put a dispenser here and then when you open this there could be a lot of I mean you could just use name tags or whatever but this could be like the tickets and um, then the cool part here would actually be that if you go in here and see what's in here then when you throw your payment in here and it hits this. I actually want to show you. I want to show you guys this. Let's just get this all nice and demonstrative. Um, there slash. Man, I'm noobing out. But and pop back into survival. There we go. So, what I essentially thought that we could do here with this is just you come in here. And you throw one gold and got there as payment. BAM! It dispenses your ticket. And then you just take your ticket. And you go in here. You show it to the to the dude in there. And the dude in there. In our imagination. Because of course you're just one person on the server. So it's kind of hard to stand both in there and in there. But let's just say there stands a dude in there. He is um, he's standing here and he's just pressing this button and that should open why is that not opening oh man I thought I had the redstone circuitry laid but apparently not um what's going on here <laughs> okay I'm back again uh, that was trick with the button didn't actually work um, for some reason because uh, that block that is behind that one, that block right there, uh, controls the trapdoor over there, and that can't be powered uh, there unless I power it um, with a button on that one. Uh, where's the button? Man, I'm I'm so not prepared. <laughs> I'm noob. I'm I'm even worse of a noob than you, Renduck. But um, uh. Yeah, you finally found a noob who is a bigger noob than you. <laughs> um, anyway, 
Yeah, just wanted to show you guys. Yeah, that's the only block, but you can't really, if you put it there, it'll just not open uh, or, or there. There's just no way that you can put any red. I've been experimenting with this for like 15 minutes now, and um, there's no way that this is possible with redstone. I don't think so. Um, but um, yeah, maybe someone, if they can rebuild this and try it out themselves, and you can try to figure it out. But I, I really don't know. Uh, so I'm, um, yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna stay in creative because if there's anything to fix, then I can just easily fast do it. But this works. Um, so if they're standing like a like a toll, uh, toll. Uh, what, what what's what's the job description for the people who stand in a toll booth? <laughs> um, yeah, he can just like, um, can I have your money, please? And then you you pay your money, and then he just backs up, bam! And there is a tick, and then a pop ticket pops up, and um, so that works. Um, and then there's a little chest here to store all the gold, the the income that they they get from your um, fr from from the yeah from visiting the Cyberdog Monument. Um, so yeah, that works. You pay, oops, you pay your, there, you get your ticket, and you go through, and then you show the, the, the guy in there your ticket, and then you can, uh, either he will open it for you, or you can just open it yourself, then you go through, and then you go up into the Cyberdog Monument, and um, as you see here, it's also perfectly symmetrical. There's exactly one block that is cross here, and one block that is cross here. And uh, there's six blocks of slabbage, which I think is looking the best. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but I think that's looking kind of kind of sweet. And uh, then, of course, there's exit this way. You go out again. And uh, then I put this, these iron iron bars. Uh, here, which I think is giving it a kind of gate tool, a, a gate toll uh, feel to it. So um, I think that's uh, that's looking pretty good, and um, that's just my suggestion for for how how to fix the symmetry fail in front of the Cyberdog Monument. And just exit here, and. Um, yeah, I hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed it, and I hope uh, maybe there's something that you could use in it. And I hope that my little new bats in there, in between there, wasn't weren't too uh, painful to watch. Um, so yeah, I've been watching the Rendog channel for quite a while now, uh, for since November. Uh, actually, that's not quite a while. Actually, your channel has been up for like two years, and uh, that's. Um, yeah, I'm a re I'm a very new cyberdog, um, but still, I just feel like since I've I mean I've been so crazy about this channel, so I wanted to like do something to thank you for this uh, series. So I've made like a little tribute to Bam, Rendiggity Dog, and this is actually something that I wanted to build on the Cyberdog Nation server too, but I haven't got around to doing it yet. Maybe I'm gonna do it in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, this was my uh, little um, idea for how to fix the symmetry fail. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, have a good day. Oh yeah, and uh, one more thing before I uh, end the video, uh, which I forgot um, in the in the video, is show the roof um, of this toll booth, and um, I have this little overhang here, which I find kind of cool, and uh, these things are. Oops, these things are slabs. Um, there we go. These things are slabs, and these things are solid blocks. And then there's, I think there's a slabage. Nope, that's actually solid blocks too. Uh, so it's actually pretty simple to make this roof. Um, and then I have one more question uh, before I end the video. And uh, that would be that I'm a cyberdog who absolutely loves oopsie daisy man I need to control it ah oh, man I'm an absolute noob controlling this wait a second but I'm also in creative mode so I guess it's a little more yeah I absolutely love the soundtrack of your Minecraft series um, and I know it's by Kevin McLeod but I would just like to ask you um, if, if uh, those soundtracks are actually uh, 
available for download or for purchase. Uh, yeah, that's basically the question that I wanted to ask you.